what's happening guys i'm heading out by myself to do some deep water tog fishing and i want to target some some of the bigger tog i'm going to do very well in this video i've got my two skinner rods right there the jig and bounce spinning version medium heavies one for the rig and one for the jig and there was literally no wind and there was slack tide around the time i'm heading out that's when i target the deeper water to have better bottom control <laughs> I am on them right there. I am on them. I got him. Okay, got his ass. Okay, he's decent. Good fish. Definitely a keeper, I would say. Not way he's fighting. Yeah, that's a keeper. Okay. Bastard. Three crab later. I think there's a bigger one down there though. You keep. Yep. This is a big fish. This is a big fish. This is a big fish. Wow. He hasn't taken drag because I got my drag tight, but it's a big fish, man. Oh, he's taking drag. It's a big fish. He's gonna bug when he sees the boat. Oh wow, oh my god. Oh, that's my PB. 100% this is my PB and I need a net. Okay, he's... He's over 10. He's over 10. Oh god, he's huge. Oh my god. And then this fish wasn't my personal best. Uh, it was just under 10 pounds, bouncing between 9, 5, 9, 7. And uh, when it comes to these bigger fish, I don't keep them anymore. When I caught my, I caught my first DD, I kept it. But these bigger fish, they, they get this big, they should go back in the water. There's no need to, to kill these fish. Uh, they're breeders and you know, they're just gonna get bigger You can catch them again another time or someone else will get to enjoy this fish and hopefully they release it too All right, so I'm gonna release this donkey nine and a half There he goes Got it Go it's decent. Uh, this one's a keeper. So when I'm not inshore in shallow water, I usually fish a slider rig or I'll fish a snafu, but mostly the slider rig. It's just easier to tie and easier to switch from a single hook to a double hook uh, when I'm going into shallow water or back to deep. This one's gotta be a keeper. Yeah, this one keeps. Oh yeah, nice fish. About five and a half, maybe. Keep that. Okay, it's decent. Just got off. Yeah, it did. too hot, man. My lenses are fogging up on my damn sheets. 
And it was so hot, the white crab actually all had died by around 11, 12 o'clock. Next time I need to keep that bucket in the shade. Okay, yeah, this is good. Gave up. Nice keeper. Nice keeper. Okay. Roaster. Nineteen, eighteen, and a half. Oh, damn it. Oh, he's on. Keeper. He's going back. Well, no shortage of keepers. That was a good hit. Oh. That's a big fish. Oh yeah. This is a good one. <laughs> Hasn't even started taking runs. The deep water bite is a lot different than inshore and shallow water. Yeah, these fish become aggressive, but some of the bigger ones, they're a lot more cautious with the baits. You also have to frequently swap your bait out once the water washes out the insides and all the juices. I always put a fresh bait on if it's been soaking too long, and it usually works. If you notice my tip, it went down subtly, and I see a little bit more of a bend just in the tip. I set the hook. Uh, he's like, ah, get that out of my lip. I got you, buddy. I got you. Okay. Okay, okay, this is better. Definitely a keeper. Yeah, nice one. Right about 17 and a half, something like that. Barely had a hook, too. Got it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is a good one. Yeah. I don't think it's as big as the first one, but it's a good one. Coming 
up now. The slower you take these bigger fish up, the less rectal prolapse you'll notice when they come up. They'll come up much healthier and they go down just as healthy and strong. Nice fish. Big fish. Yeah, it's a nice one. Yeah. Nice fish. This is going to be ridiculous trying to get down there. I should really should be using the, the rig. So what I'm doing is I'm fanning the rod to assist the line to come off quicker to get that one and a half ounce jig down. I mean, it's over 100 feet. So it takes uh, probably about 10 of these swipes. You get roughly 8 to 10 feet with each swipe. And it just gets the jig down faster. Because usually when you first get down, uh, they'll pick that up pretty quick if the bite's good. Yeah, it's not jig time yet. I'm going right back to the rig after this. There we go. not big. Mm. That's decent. That's a keeper. Oh hell yeah, it's a good fish. All right. It's a keeper. And this is why I have two of these Skinner jigging bout spinning rods. I mean, you saw that's over 100 feet, and right away, you slam in that hook. This bite, this bite slowed down here hard. A marking fish, but that's going to be like sea bass. Dude, dude, that's not small. That swallowed it right off the bat. Good fish. Oh, God. That's usually when the bigger ones come out to play, though. Whoa, this is big. Taking drag. It's still good fish though. It's also lack of a current. I don't think it's as big as the nine and a half. Ooh, it's pulling me down hard though. God, it's a nice fish. I think, damn, another big one. Okay, barely had him. Hook, look at that hook, look at that hook. Oh my God, barely had him. Okay. Look at that. <laughs> Almost lost that guy. Not happy. All right, calm down, calm down, calm down. I took you slow, too. All right, all right, all right, all right. So 21 and a half. 21 and a half inch. Oh, you're going down.
Okay, this is good. This is good. This is good. That's a good fish. The tide slowed down a little better, so I decided to drop the jig again so I could be a little more straight up and down. And then you notice, I just gave the rod a little bit of a twitch on the tip, agitated the fish, he struck, and I set the hook on the jig. Gave up. Decent fish. On the jig. Nice fish. Nice fish on the jig. In there. This thing has to really thump to, uh, Pendulum style, like Calcia says. I like to keep my tip low, though. It must still be bait on it. Okay. Okay, that's a good fish. Y yeah, it's a really good fish. Unless I get him foul hooked. No thumping, so I don't know. I think I got him foul hooked. No, it's not foul. Is it foul hooked? No, good fish. Good fish. Nice keeper. Nice keeper. Nice keeper. I get OCD, I repeat myself, it's ridiculous. <laughs> pig on the jig. It's not really a pig, but nice fish. Something on it, something on it. Ah, oh, no, I shouldn't have lifted it. Wasn't gotta be more patient than that. Oof. Got it. Uh. Ooh, it's a good fish. Decent fish. Definitely feels like a keeper. Skinner rod's well balanced. I mean, I'm setting the jig 110 feet of water, so. And there's another keeper. Nice one. Yeah, look at where it's hooked, too. Perfect. So you want a nice keeper. Pick up your weapons and fight.